Hey, what is up, Flavor Family? It is Bobby and Art back at the grocery store because today marks the beginning of Aldi Week on Flav City. Over the next seven days, we're gonna do three videos from Aldi covering a whole range of topics you guys are gonna love. Today's video is a massive summertime haul. Tomorrow's video is a huge food stamp challenge. Can you eat really healthy on a food stamp budget? And then next Saturday's video is gonna be 10 things you have to buy at Aldi right now. We have a ton of information, but before we do, hook me up and subscribe to my channel, my friends. Every week we are rocking out three videos. Two videos on the weekend, one video during the week. Better yet, there is a little bell icon right below this video. Push that bell and enable all notifications. That way you get a push as soon as we go live. And we're doing live streams during the week every week. We make a recipe from start to finish. It is lots of fun and you do not want to miss that. Okay, my friends, let's start right up here by the front door with a keto snack alert. This is exciting. Parmesan crisps. And why I love them is look at the back of the packaging here. There's literally just one ingredient, aged Parmesan cheese, and then it's baked into a crisp cracker. This is fantastic because it's a great way to get your crunch when you're on the keto diet. Even the jalapeno one, I was a little scary. There might be some kind of bad ingredients, but it's just jalapeno powder. So a fantastic snack here. Crumble that in salads. Um, put it in guacamole, fantastic. Kind of got excited when I saw this item right here. Simply Nature is a great all natural brand here at Aldi. Um, brown rice crackers. And I got pretty excited when I saw the first ingredient, whole grain brown rice flour. Very, very excited whenever I see whole grains because it's the complete grain, meaning it's a complex carbohydrate. It doesn't spike your blood sugar and it satiates your hunger for a long time. And the rest of the ingredients, I gotta be honest, are really good, look at this quinoa, amaranth, right? All that great stuff. It does have a little too much sugar for me. We look here in this four ounce package, there's 16 grams of sugar. Guys, that's four teaspoons. Think about that. Four teaspoons of brown sugar in here. This is pretty lightweight. I mean, I can crush the whole thing probably in one serving. I know you can too. Um, so not thrilled about it, but it's just one of those things. Read the label. They don't really need that much sugar in there, um, but it's a surprising amount. Another keto snack attack. This is super cool. I came here on Monday to do some research. Have you guys ever heard of Bill Tong? Bill Tong is basically the OG of jerky. We look on the back here, it says Bill Tong is a century old process for drying and preserving meat. What's really cool about that? They don't use sugar and preservatives and nasty oils to do that. This is a really high quality keto snack. We look at the ingredients, look at this. Super clean. There's a little bit of raisin juice concentrate instead of high fructose corn syrup or refined cane syrup. Fantastic. Zero grams of sugar, zero grams of carbs. Hey, do I wish this was grass fed 100%? Yeah. If I go to the alternative, same company, beef jerky, right? This is just straight up beef jerky. Look, all of a sudden, the uh, ingredients become a lot longer and you start having a lot more ingredients such as sugar, naturalized flavor, hydrolyzed soy protein, a few um, preservatives, sugars, five grams per serving. So easy choice here at Aldi, get the biltong. Oh, come over here, Art. People on, oh, over here actually, on Instagram were very excited. And by the way, if you ever see a product at a grocery store, send me a DM on Instagram or an email. People blow up my inbox with like, hey, look what I got at Costco. Look what I got at Aldi. And they sent me a picture of this. Knock your sprouts off bread. When this video is done, you go over to our video from three weeks ago. We reviewed bread at the grocery store. What you want to buy, what you want to avoid. Spoiler alert, the number one choice is sprouted bread. Why? Sprouted breads are made from grains and seeds that are sprouted, meaning they're soaked in water a few days until a little sprout or a tail forms. Why is that important? Well, sprouted grains are much, easily, are much more easily digestible by your body, and more importantly, your body derives a lot more nutrition from sprouted grain bread, so I'd always go that route. We look at the ingredients, sprouted whole wheat, fantastic. Sprouted rye, sprouted barley, quinoa, amaranth. There is one ingredient, see where it says cracked wheat? Cracked wheat is another word for enriched wheat or bleached wheat. Ideally, we don't want to see that in there. There is a brand called Ezekiel Bread that is best in class sprouted. And to be honest, this is two not what's this cheap. This is $2.99, you guys. That's a fantastic price. Ezekiel is about four and change-ish. So this is fantastic to make for the kids for school. Another one here that I saw the other day is this. You can just tell. Can you I wish you guys were my hand right now. Oat so healthy bread. 
it's heavy. Whenever you pick up a bread and it's too soft and you can squish it, that's usually a bad sign that it's made with enriched white flour. Bad news. This one, organic whole wheat, whole grains, um, whole oats. Very, very good bread here. I would crush for sure. That's, uh, guys, we just covered some amazing products literally in the first like 10 yards here at Aldi, which by the way, look around here. This is a sweet Aldi here on the north side of Chicago. There's so many racks here, so we better hurry up. And by the way, you better pour yourself a cup of coffee or something because we have a ton of stuff to cover here. Let's go. Here, check this out. This is on the cusp of being one of the coolest salad dressings I've ever seen. This is little salad bar, ginger, apple thyme with cold pressed apple juice. I look at the ingredients, amazing. I was expecting to see tons of sugar, preservatives here. Yes, there's two grams of sugar for, uh, per serving, super clean ingredients. The only thing that kind of bugs me is they're using canola oil as the oil. Why are they using canola oil? Number one, it's a little inexpensive. Number two, it's unflavored, it's a neutral flavor. The problem with me is that if it's not GMO free or organic canola oil, it's highly processed and highly refined. After this video is done, you go over to our cooking oils review video and you'll learn all about oils. That being said, man, the price is still pretty good. I'm gonna say if you want one of the better, actually it is the best uh, dressing in Aldi. You can still get this. I've never seen a dressing made with cold pressed apple juice, low sugar and no preservatives. This is super, super cool. This my friends, I was ecstatic to see. Check this out Art. Organic grass fed 2% milk. Number one, this is exciting because the price of $3.99. I've seen this regularly at other stores for over $5. Now you're thinking to yourself, Bobby, why would I splurge and get that? Organic dairy is very important. Once again, when this video is done, watch our cheese review video and I'll tell you why organic uh, video is done. I'm not just promoting our other videos, trust me. We do these videos twice a week, every week, and there's so much knowledge spread across the videos. The reason why you want organic dairy is because it's much better for you. Organic dairy does not eat GMO corn and soy. Organic dairy has higher omega-3s, the good ones, lower omega-6s, the bad ones, and higher CLAs, conjugated linoleic acids. What are those? Just know those are responsible for a ton of healthy properties in your body, including being anti-cancer. Also, it's really good for the environment. Um, Grass-fed are pasture-raised. They're not put into a mass feedlot. They're fertilizing the ground. They're pruning and mowing the uh, grass and they're offsetting any carbon they burp or fart into the environment. It's being sequestered by the grass. Very, very good stuff. I would highly recommend this stuff. The flavor's fantastic. I do wish it was full fat milk, not reduced milk, but I'm okay with that. Let's just say you can't afford that and you wanna trade down a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to organic whole milk. So we're saving about 70 cents per half gallon. Totally fine with this. Um, much better than conventional dairy. It's not grass fed, but it is eating or organic uh, diet of grains, much better than the non-organic GMO ones. So a great place, but I'd rather splurge the 70 cents and get that. And then I've got a few questions online about this. Milk with the omega-3 fatty acids. To me, that's mixing surf and turf, right? It's, a, it's the weirdest surf and turf ever. It's the fish oil meets the cow. I like to keep things separate. I have some boundaries in life and putting fish oil into milk is not my favorite thing for a couple of reasons. Number one, it does slightly change the flavor. Art, you've tried this before, right? I have. Not that brand. Right, but it's a little funky, right? The one I tried was a little funky. I've heard that many times. Number two, they're not using the highest quality fish oil. It's fish oil that's highly processed and refined. You're much better buying a very high quality fish oil supplement, or you guys eat a lot of salmon. Salmon, including salmon skin, has the highest amount of omega-3 fatty acids. If you're looking for salmon recipes, I'll put a link down below. In the cookbook, I have a bunch. On the blog, I have a bunch. I have a crispy skin salmon recipe that gets the skin so crispy like a potato chip or like a chicharron, it is fantastic. So I probably wouldn't get that. Moving on to almond milk, my friends. This is actually the only almond milk I would recommend here at Aldi. It's the original unsweetened almond milk. First off, we never buy the sweetened versions because the amount of sugar they put in here is really high. We're talking sometimes eight to 10 grams of sugar per uh, cup. Um, so I like to get either unsweetened vanilla or original. But if I look at the ingredients, they're clean. It doesn't have that nasty carrageenan, that seaweed emulsifier that's really bad for your stomach and your intestines and it doesn't have natural flavorings. Unfortunately, read the labels because some of the other ones here have natural flavorings. As much as I'd like to buy the organic almond one, it does have organic natural flavorings. Organic or non-organic natural flavorings are bad news. I'll tell you why in a little bit. Um, 
Typically, almond trees are very heavily sprayed around the base. They don't do that for the tree. They do that to kill the grass so that when they shake the tree, they can easily pick up the almonds. But because of the natural flavorings, I'm out. So this is the almond milk I like. Uh, soy milk, I don't really drink that much, but this is sweetened, so I'd stay away from that. And the coconut milk down there is sweetened also. So super, super cool options here in the dairy case. Let's talk about yogurt. Art, what should they do if they want to learn about more yogurt? You probably have a video for it. We have a video for it. Uh, watch that after this. That breaks down everything you need to know about yogurt. But if you're at Aldi and you want to know what yogurt to get, easy. You get this. The organic whole milk, not vanilla, right? Because if I look at vanilla, there's 17 grams of sugar in three quarters of a cup. Too much. But I do the plain, always do plain Jane, unsweetened, organic, if you can, grass-fed yogurt. That's the gist of that video. Organic dairy is far superior. Organic dairy rules, just like O'Doyle rules. Uh, we look at this here, zero added sugar. And why do you want the organic? Because the organic dairy is much better for you, better for the cow, better for the environment, better for the farmer. It really, really is. This is a fantastic deal, 289. Great deal. The best you can do is organic grass-fed Greek yogurt because Greek yogurt is strained. It actually strains out some of the lactose in there. It also makes it more protein dense. But hey, this is your second best option here. I would not get any of the other ones. Honey flavored, that's just a way of putting sugar in there. Would you also say you wouldn't get the yogurt that comes with packets of candy bar to sprinkle into it? Correct. Even though Art, I think that was the, the Yo Crunch, Art likes that. Hey, look at this. I just noticed it for, the, for the first time. Skier. Skier is Icelandic style yogurt. The problem is these are flavored. So just, you're going to think this is good and good for you, but this is literally huh, 10 grams of sugar, nine of which are added for 5.3 ounces. Guys, 10 grams of sugar is literally two and a half teaspoons of white sugar added to that. That's a lot of sugar, so I would stay away from that. Staying over here, let's see, oh, very, very exciting. So a lot of people were freaking out recently, including me, that Kerrygold Irish butter was not here anymore. What happened? What'd they do with it? It was the best price ever. They replaced it with this. Hello, blue, new item alert here at Aldi. They're making their own grass-fed Irish butter. Now. I did a deep dive and I actually emailed Aldi. They got back to me. Thank you for that. This is compliant with Irish dairy laws. What the heck does that mean? Does that mean the cows are fed Guinness 24 seven? No, but that would be amazing. Um, it means that Irish dairy cows have to be fed grass 80% of the year. Why do they do that? Well, Ireland's a northern climate. During the winter, some of the grass dies because of the cold weather. They feed it a supplement of grain. Unfortunately, it's probably GMO grain. 20% of the year. Is that ideal? No, but 80% of the time it's grass-fed butter, $2.49. The old price here for Kerrygold, correct me if I'm wrong, family, it was like $2.80-ish, $2.90-ish. That rings um, a bell. Yeah, so this is a fantastic deal. We could talk about bacon. So, whoa, hello, price cut alert on the one I was gonna recommend. Look at this. So there's two kinds of bacon here. There's my favorite thick cut, do you see how thick that is? I generally like that over the thin cut, but this is the Never Any brand, a really cool brand by Aldi that never has any antibiotics, hormones, and it's a vegetarian diet. And the cool thing about that is if I read the ingredients, it's literally five ingredients. Super clean, a little bit of cane sugar, not ideal, but I'm okay with it. Because if I read the ingredients for this guy, oh my God, I need some glasses here. There's a ton more including maple flavor, which is natural flavoring, yeast extract. Yeast extract, by the way, is basically like uh, another form of MSG. It enhances the flavor via chemicals. Oh, and polysorbate 80, ton more preservatives. So I would pass on that and go right now, you guys. When is this good until? This video is coming out th this weekend. Get this bacon, because that's fantastic. A lot of you guys on Instagram had questions about the seafood. Um, it is a great deal. I mean, look at this. You get Atlantic farm-raised salmon for $7.69 a pound. It's one of the cheaper things I've seen. I do love their packaging here. It is vacuum sealed to retain the freshness, but my problem is product of chili. If you uh, do a deep dive into farm-raised fishing and seafood in general, which I believe will be a future episode because a lot of you guys want to see a video about seafood, chili does not have the best farm-raised practices, right? They um, 
kind of crowd them into the pens. They are known to use a lot of antibiotics, and it's probably not the best. The best farm-raised salmon is from Norway, so I can't quite give this the Bobby seal of approval, even though I love the price. And then we have raw shrimp here. Once again, love the packaging, but they're from India, and India is known to do the same kind of things that uh, Chile does, bad farming practices and uh, high antibiotics. So I can't quite support that, but let's come over here, Art. I was really excited when I saw that Aldi is getting in the booch game here. Vita Life Kombucha, amazing price, new item here. The problem is, look at this, it has six, or it has 10 grams of sugar for eight fluid ounces compared to six. So I can't support that just because of the sugar here. But one thing I can support is the perfect bar. Have you ever seen a better price? This is a new item at Aldi, a buck 89. This is one of the best protein bars on the market because look at the ingredients here, you guys. Stellar, I'm talking like stellar ingredients. It is a little high in sugar, 15 grams for one bar but that comes in the form of honey and not cane sugar. So that's okay. Ideally, I'd like it to be lower, but look at the ingredients they're using here, you guys. Super clean ingredients, rose hips, organic lemon, and the sunflower oil is expeller pressed, not conventional. So this is fantastic. I would scoop that all day long. Another new item here at Aldi, check it out, you guys. We got Simply Nature organic turkey and deli meat. So. This is great because the turkey breast has minimal ingredients here. By the way, that's been a very uh, requested video lately, deli meats. I'm gonna do a whole video about that. But this is passing with flying colors. Look at the ingredients here. Organic turkey breast, a little bit of salt, organic honey, fantastic. Once you start to see a lot of ingredients, including natural flavors, you're in trouble. Case in point, even though this organic maple smoked ham has good ingredients, look what it says here, organic maple flavoring. So they're using natural flavoring to get that maple flavor. Kind of bothers me. Talked about it a lot last week in case you haven't heard it because you're new to the channel. Natural flavorings are a big problem because they're not regulated by the government. The rule is you have to start with something natural, say maple syrup, say a peach, say a vanilla bean. Once you do that, you can add up to 100 chemicals and alter it as much as you want in a lab with the scientists and still call it natural, even though it's completely artificial. Bad news. What do these scientists also do? They isolate the best flavor compounds of the uh, item and they enhance them and puff them up even more so your taste buds and your brain get very excited. You eat more, you buy more. It's really bad news. I think that's one of the biggest lies in the grocery store right now and it's a huge problem. If you ever see natural flavorings on a uh, packaging, you run. Run for us, run, I say. So that's no, but if you don't want to get the organic one because it's a little pricey, look, we trade down here to never any, which is a step below, but I can get behind that. And black forest and honey ham. So this one's interesting because it has natural smoke flavoring, but that could just be liquid smoke. I'll have to find out, um, but this one doesn't have that. The uh, honey ham has um, all natural ingredients. So great things. And then what goes with a sandwich? Cheese. So all right, we have a couple options here, right? We have the conventional cheese, either sliced or block, or what I'm really excited about here now is Simply Nature organic sliced cheese. So it's a little more expensive, 235 for six ounces versus 199 for eight ounces, but I would trade up to the organic cheese because it's way better for you, right? It's that organic feed. It's not eating GMO corn, GMO soy. Why is that bad? Well, we talked about it in many other videos, but GMO corn is grown with Roundup Ready in the seed. So when bugs eat the plant when it's growing, the bug, he dies, right? But when we eat it, it's safe. Homie, don't play that game, right? I like to play it safe. Organic dairy is the way to go. And the price is great. This is really interesting, right? This is Simply Nature spinach and kale bites. You bake them in the oven. These are broccoli bites. I was very leery of these, but look at the ingredients, you guys. Really clean. The canola in here is expeller pressed. It has a good amount of spinach and kale. Potatoes as the filler or the starch. Both of these are Bobby approved and a great snack frozen rice cauliflower, and we know the only uh, application of frozen rice cauliflower I like is for a pizza crust. Otherwise, it's very soft and watery, but for a pizza crust, it's good because you can wring the water out. We have a recipe. Desi, my wife, has a recipe actually for a dairy-free, starch-free keto pizza crust. Using this, that is phenomenal. It's not flimsy. It's got great structure, so I would get that. Now, a few of you guys had questions about the stevia here at Aldi. Um, pretty decent price. 
weighs very, very light, but it measures one to one with sugar, which is really cool, right? A quarter cup of sugar is a quarter cup of stevia. My only problem is it's not one ingredient. It's stevia and look, maltodextrin. Maltodextrin is that preservative that does a couple things. It makes it more shelf stable. It makes the texture of things more cakey and more creamy, but it also is really bad for your gut bacteria, your flora, your uh, intestines. Once again, your gut is the microbiome of your body. All the good bacteria in there need to be built up and fostered because that is the backbone of the uh, health of your whole body. When you start eating a lot of sugar and things that kill the uh, gut bacteria or promote bad bacteria there, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt in terms of health. So I can't suggest that one. Something really, really cool here that uh, someone sent me on Instagram is this. Simply Nature Organic Black Soybean Spaghetti and Edamame Spaghetti. Um, what's so cool about that? Well, black soybean and edamame are very high in fiber. So we're talking about a very low carb pasta. So per serving, it's only 19 minus 11. It's eight grams of, of uh, carbs for this. It's actually lower for the edamame. Whoa. The edamame is only seven grams per serving. It's because it's super high in fiber. That being said, I don't like to eat too much soy. It is organic soy, so it's non-GMO. But if you want to get a pasta fix and go low carb, it's way better than this. I mean, a, a two ounce serving of this has 40 grams versus eight grams of carbs. So a really cool find here. And they don't even market the fact that it's uh, low carb. They just say high in fiber. They should maybe put that in the packaging because that's a really cool selling point. All right, that is it. We just wrapped up the largest Aldi food haul ever and covered every square inch of the store. Yes, we did. But it was a good time. And anyways, let us know what other things you want us to review, what other places you want us to go to. There are two more videos listed right down below. Click, like, and subscribe. Yes. But until then, hashtag keep, keep on, on cooking, cooking. Mad love, love and peace.